welcome to our weekend vlog. So today is getting, or this weekend, is going to be super busy. I'm just getting ready to go for a ride with Deanne. We're heading to an area called Sherwood Park. It's like St. Albert, but it's on the completely other side of Edmonton. Let me see, is that her? Can you bring me a nail file? Deanne's on her way. She says, can I bring her a nail file? We are both the same about our nails because if they break, it's like having something in your tooth. I just can't, can't deal with it. Tomorrow, Richard's art show opens up. It's not just him, it's a big, huge art show that opens up at the Alberta Art Gallery and they got jury to be in it. And it's being held on Juneteenth, which is an African-American holiday. And Biden just made it a national holiday yesterday. So that's phenomenal. He recognized it as a national holiday. And so the art show actually opens on the 20th, but they're having the artists and family and some kind of opening ceremonies tomorrow. So there's that. And then Jesse is appearing on Netflix right now. If you like zombie movies, he is in season two of Black Summer. So I had to get caught up on season one because I'm not a zombie movie kind of girl. So I watched it all in two nights. I was like, all I could hear in my dreams was, Arr! <laughs> it was quite funny. So, um, yeah, so I watched part of season two, and then I saw Jesse, and he looks like a mean character. Not his usual bad guy, but this one's like, it's like the mortals who are still alive and surviving the apocalypse and don't want to be killed by these zombies so whoever dies turns into a zombie. Doesn't matter why, you don't have to be bit by a zombie, you just turn into one. And then all you want to do is eat mortal people or dogs or anything. So in the mortal world, so you're fighting somebody else for what they might have, guns, weapons, food, whatever. So he's kind of the head of one of those mortal fighty groups. Hmm. I did not raise him to be that. He's always a bad guy. And the funniest thing is Jesse is always such a nice guy. But because of his size, he always gets placed in the tough guy roles, you know? But it's good. I mean, if you like those kind of movies. Of course, he's wonderful. I'm so thirsty, and I'm hot, and I'm wearing the wrong top. It's not this cold out. Huh. I have seven minutes to change. What should I put on? Oh, I know. I know. There. I bought two tops to go with these. They're kind of cream colored sweatpants. And one was that one you saw that's hotter or warmer. And this one. So this is perfect because it's way warmer than I thought. I don't know why I thought it was so cold outside. So I'm just waiting on Deanne. Oh, I forgot to say, Jesse's in that movie and Julia is having the family over, I mean, a very small portion of the family over to watch the, uh, we're doing a premiere of it, but I already started watching because I couldn't wait, I wanted to see him. And so we're all supposed to wear black, it's called Black Summer. And I paint my nails black and anything for fun. We haven't done anything fun in forever. So, yeah, this will be good. So, I think I'm all ready. <laughs>
is Edmonton's famous bakery, isn't it? I don't know if it's the best, but it's, it's out of my kit. Tell them. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so this is Richard's gift he got, and it was tied with this really cool candy cloth. I'll use that for something. And he got a bottle, a beautiful bottle of Prosecco. This is a really nice bottle by Brute. Boat. Then he got a big poster of, where is the postcard? Do you have it there, Richard, the postcard? Uh, I don't know. Oh, just so I can do, yeah. So I don't have to unfold the poster. He got a big poster of this, and that's Richard Rudd there. And then um, the coolest thing, I think, is the mask. Look at this mask. It says five artists, one love. It's always been called that, even though yeah. there were fifteen artists in it this and, time. At the very beginning, there was only there, I mean, I, there were five. I, yeah, there, I don't even think there was. Well, maybe there was five. And Richard's one of the originals in the very first art show. But look at this mask. It's so masculine too. And Deanne's in the back seat whispering, "Macaron, we're hungry." Okay, so I'm gonna give her a macaron. What color do you want, Chuck? Okay. People outside, outside dancing. Oh my god. What's happening? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's like perfect. You're just like. So Jesse made Black Summer drinks in honor of the premiere of Black Summer. And it's Guinness and ice cream. They're beer floats. And apparently beer floats are the new trend. I hate Guinness. So let me take a sip. It's actually not bad. It takes that bitterness out of the Guinness. So, black summers for all of us. So I just left the doctor for yet another injection. And we are going over the brand new bridge. Do you know what this bridge is called? No. No. Um, brand new bridge. <laughs> it's called the brand new bridge. That's what everyone calls it too. Have you been over the bridge? There it is over there. Isn't it pretty? And that's the high level bridge. That's the one they light up for special occasions and when it's... Um, Trigeminal Awareness Day. That's the, the bridge. oldest bridge in the I know. That bridge is lit up in teal because that is the color for trigeminal neuralgia. Way over there, that big black line right there. So now we're going over the new bridge. But isn't it pretty? It is nice on the bridge. And then there's the big Saskatchewan. River, the North Saskatchewan River, and the heart of Edmonton City Center. Hey everyone, we're getting ready to go camping tomorrow for a few days. I always like to make fun meals at home and then finish them up on the in the trailer or on the common stove. So over here, I have um, the meat ready for burritos. I have refried beans as well, so it's going to be like an awesome super taco with sour cream and cheese and tomatoes and all the yumminess. So that's cooling off, and now I'll put it in a container. And this is called Tanguji, Tanguji, which is a Korean pork dish. And oh my goodness, it sounds so good. So. You make this batter, first you make a marinade, and you let it sit in the marinade for a while so that the baking soda tenderizes the pork. I use the pork tenderloin. And so this, the marinade's just baking soda, soy sauce, and water, I think, and salt. And then you make up a batter, which is simple, just flour, baking powder now, and I forget, an egg or two. You whip up the batter, and then you dip the pork in the batter, obviously, and it sits in there for 10 minutes, and then you crispy brown them, 
like that and then I'm going to put them on here and then when we get to the campsite they get a second fry which is what you would do even if you were cooking it at home you they get fried twice and then you add the sweet and sour sauce on top and chopped green onions a yummer Rooney's man and then I made a cherry sour cream coffee cake for our breakfast and we've got stuff on the table ready to go so yeah should be fun time so here's the beach post covid at 8 30 p.m look at this jesse was here earlier and he said it was wall to wall people and he went back home where are we that way so we're just driving back from the beachfront and it's amazing to see so many people still out, still barbecuing, um, music playing, partying. You'd think you were at a beach in Santa Monica, California. There's so many people and it's 9 p.m. at night, but we have the luxury of a sun that rarely sets in the summertime. So. It is so hot here, unusual. It's gonna be hotter tomorrow. And yeah, I'm feeling the heat. And so is Richard feeling the heat. So we'll play it by ear, hey, Grandpa? Sure will. It is hot. Ooh, Nelly. Readings from our campsite. Ooh, a wasp. You see my mug? Life is better at the campsite. So true. I think that should be on the outside on the mud, don't you? So people can read it. But whatever. It's beautiful here. It is so hot and so hot in the city. But when you're sitting under these beautiful pine trees, it's really nice and cool and breezy. We just had a delicious delicious late breakfast we had a sour cream coffee cake with cherries that i had picked last summer so good and a fruit salad we always like to have fruit salad camping because it's um one way that you're going to get your fruit so we had apples oranges bananas and blueberries in it it was delicious of course i broke out in another rash when it's from the heat. So I slathered myself with uh, cortisone cream and let's just hope it um, settles down. Joanna, I think I mentioned Joanna was coming camping. So we were trying to figure out where her site was gonna be. It is literally kitty corner to us, like across this road, hang on, across the road, right behind Harriet, like right there across the street. So she's not here yet, but she'll get here this afternoon around three or four. So she's going to bring me some antihistamine because I forgot to bring them. So that's so nice. I'm glad she's coming out. And uh, today I said to Richard, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to be in the sun. Yesterday was way too much sun. And we're just going to sit around here and I'm going to read and do some art do some artwork and um, Richard's gonna do some artwork and I think I might do some mixed media so I just grabbed a whole bunch of stuff and it's gonna play around look how pretty it's so nice and see the next campground is like not even that close if you can see the edge of that trailer there so you're quite far there's one there and then one there. So you're not close to people. Campground, you were very, very close, but the view was incredible. And then I noticed they had a lot of plankton here. So I'm gonna harvest some. I don't know if you guys know what it looks like, but it's right by our fire pile there. It is that one right there. So I'm going to go and harvest some of that. 
so I can make some more of my plankton cream because it's fantastic. So this is the book I'm reading. I started it on Friday and today's Monday. This one. So I'm ha literally halfway through. Exactly halfway through. So hopefully I'll get it finished while we're out here. So that's all I'm doing. Just chill. Check out this Alberta blue sky. Big sky, Alberta. Look at this. I mean, come on. Not a cloud in the sky anywhere. Pretty nice, see? It's so quiet it is. This is the middle of the day. And it's just beautiful. Wish you guys were here. We could have a cup of coffee. Look at this. Yeah, it's so good though. So we are breaking camp a day early because it is too hot for lupus. I broke out in another horrible rash and I have to go back to the doctor tomorrow. So we have to go home a day early, but that's okay. We had fun. Your health is more important or my health or anybody's health is more important and these are extreme extreme temperatures for us like 91 92 93 is extreme for canadians living where we live it's so hot we don't even have mosquitoes which is just uh it's as common for camping as s'mores and there's not a skeeter in town not a bug around so we just go for a little stroll down here. Check it out. Look at this old tree. It's really pretty. I was going to forage for some planting, but I just can't be out in the sun that much. It's just too hot. This is all planting. Oh my god. You know what? I'm going to dig some up anyway. Because this is too much to look at this goodness. It's a field of plantain in the shade. Going to get some. Be back. So we're on our way home, and I just love the way little old Harriet just chugga chuggas behind us. Like, I'm going home. Isn't she the cutest little trailer ever? I love her. I really, really do. She's just fun. We enjoy her, don't we, Richard? Yeah. She's just. I don't know. Brings you joy. Even if we had to go home a day early. Who cares? Harriet's with us. It was so hot in the house we decided to go for a car ride. So we're in Morinville. Morinville is a French town about 10 miles north of St. Albert. And as St. Albert, Morinville was also a very rich French Canadian community, also responsible for the residential school system that happened to the indigenous people that they were suffered through and abused in. And so what's been happening lately, and I'm not sure because I don't have the facts, but they're saying it was vandalism is the churches that were involved in a residential school have been burnt down. And while they were beautiful monuments, I was trying to explain to Richard, if our home was a home that had, we were performing child abuse acts on children and pornography and horrible things, and somebody burnt our house down, would that be a bad thing? So, you know, it's a lot to think about. And while violence isn't the answer, if you were a child and a product of that, maybe that's your only, you know, your only resolution, I don't know. But anyway, we've driven by this church for years and years, and it was an absolutely 
beautiful structure as far as architectural go. And it's no longer here. So I think that was the residential school. See the building in the back? Right in the behind. Look when you go, when you, when we come up here. So I'm going to flip your bridge. You have to take this. This is pre so This is what's left. It burnt to the ground. Oh, sorry. Look at the destruction. Oh, making the doors. Oh, they oh, said they, they could are. save the bells. They say they could save those big old bells that are all twisted there. Where are the bells? Right I there see behind, them. behind beyond that fire rescue guy. There's a twisted metal and there's two bells. Really? Look at this. If you, oh, I'm going to try and find the pictures that I have of it and compare it because I we used to come here on the diet. Look at the back. Look at this church. This reminds me of in Alabama when the churches are burnt to the ground. Oh, all the black churches are yes burnt to the, and this is what they look like and you can't imagine how oh, little girls were really nine years ago and they were trapped. And you know what? And not it's even that long ago, that one, I forget where it was, and there was a were eight, eight, yes. yes. They were having a prayer group. Yes. And, 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 this, and guy this guy knew them. they were in there. That, so he, that's the one I see. See, that's, that's bigger? Which we had to reach, reach in, in Oh, here. that little piece? Because it's bigger. So I'm just sitting here eating a big old bowl of oatmeal and having a coffee and getting ready to read. But if you recognize, don't recognize anything, we're not home. Staying at Jesse and Julia's because they have central air conditioning and they're away for the weekend. Look at their artwork. They're gorgeous. Give me a peek at their place. Richard's sitting over there. And this has one, two, three stories. You go up one step, go two steps. How many stories is it? Yeah, three. Three stories. So we're staying in their oldest son's bedroom and they're away. And it's quite lovely and I don't want to ever leave. So yeah. I just want to stay here forever. Those are my pills. <laughs> I'll stay here forever more. Right, Fitz? Fitz, get down. Get down. We can't he can't be on the furniture though because they're allergic to him, so. We'll have to vacuum the couch. But I'm just, I said to Richard, I'm so tickled at quite how Jess and Julia are such little homies. So of course we were in the neighborhood, hashtag 10 miles away. Well, not really, but how far away were we? <laughs> Pretty far. <laughs> but well, we at least we're in the area where we're We're in the city. Yeah, we're not in our bubble, so there you go. And we're kind of close-ish to Jesse and Julia's. Yeah, we are. Sort of. So we decided to go to our favorite burger place, Burger Baron. And it, I think it's been here, oh my God, I don't even know how many years. Before the kids were born. Yeah, for sure, before we were born, because I think my parents used to come here, so it's old. But they haven't changed their style of making burgers and you know it has that old-fashioned yummy 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 yumminess so of course we had to get a side of corn fritters for later and the so owners have changed about four times but they're all they're always so nice so um uh we got some corn fritters for later to watch a movie with because this is a low-cal diet staycation right Richard? <laughs> but i feel so much better oh air conditioning we gotta look into it because man for me it's a must i am just oh, it, it's one less thing to have to deal with the horrible heat with this rash and this itchiness and the uncomfortableness and the steroids and you know what i mean i mean i know there are people way worse than me i know that that suffer and couldn't even they don't even have a house never mind air conditioning and I understand that and I recognize that so I have to learn to be humble and grateful but I'm so happy that my children all three of them 
have, have air, air conditioning. conditioning. <laughs> and it just so happened that Jesse and Julie are away. So they said, take our house. And we're like, okie dokie smoky. But we've been so nice. We've been doing stuff around yeah. the house for them. So, hey guys, I'm just getting ready to go to the mall with Jan and um, Ozzy. Ozzy's been out of town for four days fishing and camping and all the things he loves to do. He's so funny. But to be honest, I don't feel good. No. Those strong steroids are, whoa, strong. They are working. That second rash has settled down. It's not as burning and itching and awful as it was. And um, my arm is really getting better. And then there's odd ones all over. So, but they are working. So, um, but the side effects are headache and nausea. And I woke up with a head de ache, like an old fashioned good old headache, you know, like the kind, you know, like a headache. So I tried Tylenol, didn't work. Or it might have worked because I was at five in the morning. I just went back to sleep. And then by about noon, it was just pounding. And then I remembered the Costco brand of acetaminophen works a hundred times better than the brand name of Tylenol. Go figure. So you know what? I think I'm going to close the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching and hanging out with us. Fitz, really? He's getting better at not barking. Are you being a better doggy? Needs a haircut. But his barking in our last camping trip, he was really well behaved. And we've been taking him in the car with us more often. And when one of us gets out of the car, he's much more settled. When so. he doesn't bark, we give him a treat. So Fitz and I want to say goodbye. Can you say bye, Fitz? Say bye-bye. Stop! He must know I was talking about him. Funny dog. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!